What's up guys? Baker here. Um, you may notice the title of this tutorial is a little bit strange. I call this the Photoshop All Grown Up tutorial. And you might be thinking, uh, what the hell is that? Well basically, I just want to kind of um, introduce, not really a tutorial, but introduce a lot of Photoshop features that are inside of After Effects. And uh, I'm going to say about 80 to 90 percent of uh, after Effects users don't even know about these um, features. So let's just go over uh, a couple uh, quick things. First of all, you can import um, PSD files. So like I actually, um, out of all the you know five, six YouTube backgrounds that I've made, I made them in After Effects. So when you go to import, you just, uh, let's see, YouTube, uh, there it is background layout just open it the um, now this shouldn't be AEP uh, the PSD does work so don't worry about it and um, it'll look like this and all the folders in Photoshop become their own comps so you got you know the fade the module the backing which is the uh, the white background and you can go into here you know and um, edit these you can uh, you know, put whatever you want. Um, another feature is uh, layer styles. You know, a lot of people use layer styles in Photoshop. So if you just click on your layer, go up to layer, layer styles, you have essentially almost all the same effects in Photoshop. So, you know, if you want a uh, gradient overlay, you know, go down to the gradient overlay uh, features down here or settings. You know, change the blend mode, you change the colors. So you can do, you know, all those colors that, you know, you, you like to do and stuff any of that stuff um, there's a bunch of other layer styles like drop shadow and everything so if you like typography you know it's gonna uh, make spice it up make it look like Photoshop effects um, what else do I want to go over um, how about this so let's say you have a clip or this could be um, again some text or I don't know um, you can actually do some paint stuff so if we go to our window, paint, right here, we have our little paint window, and we click our little paint brush up here. And if we double click on the layer, we can go in and type, you know, hey, what's up? I mean, of course, it'd be a little bit better than that. But our duration right now is single frame, so it'll just pop up only on that frame. And you could have it, uh, let's say, constant. So, you know, clear this window but it's gonna stay there the whole time and um, you know not really the best effect but if you can find a way to use it um, productively then that's pretty cool and another thing is if and if you don't like it you can just delete or reset the paint uh, clone stamper remember that so you know sample by clicking alt over here and then you know painting over here and uh, it's interesting, but if you want that, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, to change the brush size, you can hold Command for a Mac or Control for PC and drag left and right. So maybe you want a big one, tiny one. But, you know, just, again, sample and stuff. If you want this crazy what-the-hell effect. <laughs> I don't know. But um, just things I want to, like, you know, introduce and point out. Um, I know a lot of people um, give out lens flares and uh, GFX packs and stuff. You know, well, I like to use uh, After Effects because After Effects has um, optical flares. So this flare right here, if I just copy, let's say, put it into uh, modules, and uh, I don't know, let's see if we can uh, fit to comp or something. Probably won't look good. And it's all stretched, but anyways, the point is you can can take these flares and you know you customize them with uh, optical flares and you don't have to use you know a preset flare and to like feather it you know so we'll set this to screen probably turn down this resolution or something you know just use a mask for feathering instead of using the I don't know I don't even know what it's called I don't use Photoshop but I think it's like the I don't know like some eraser tool and you know you can feather it but it's cool because you can adjust these pretty easily, you know, make it over here, whatever. I just find After Effects to be more uh, 
customizable and like editable. I mean, you could change a lot of stuff pretty easily. Um, what else? So when you're done, you know, making your YouTube background or whatever, and you want to go back into Photoshop, you can do that. All you do is find your frame that you want because let's say in the um, let's say in the background here you've got I know picture, people have pictures of fire so let's say you have a video of fire you have and uh, you know find the frame you want so uh, there's you know more things you can choose once you find that frame go ahead and go to composition save frame as file and then go to output module and just make sure this is a Photoshop sequence. Now it won't render a sequence because you only rendered one frame. So you click OK and you save it as a PSD and then you can open it back up in um, Photoshop and then just work in there again. So um, if you can, you know, you can go back and forth and uh, I just think this is a pretty cool stuff if you didn't know about these, you know. Clone stamper tool, maybe you want to get rid of a, a name or uh, in real footage you can get rid of people. Um, there's uh, the regular paint tool, there's a bunch of layer styles, um, importing the PSDs, it's, there's a lot of cool stuff that you might not know about. And I um, hope I'm not forgetting anything, but those are the basic Photoshop features inside of After Effects that you can use. So I hope you kind of learned a little bit. Um, go ahead and mess around with these, and uh, you know, if you make up something cool, and uh, set it as a video response and I'll check it out and you can show other people what you can do um, with uh, After Effects instead of Photoshop all these special effects and features and you know CC lens and things but um, that's about it so go ahead and like and favorite and comment if you can that'd be nice and um, that's about it peace you guys okay don't leave yet I actually forgot to mention one thing um, it's like a couple days later and I want to go back and uh, finish this but this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this tutorial and I forgot to mention it but um, the funnest thing in Photoshop you gotta admit is the liquify filter right well you got that in After Effects let's see effect distort liquify yeah so it's got all those same tools it's got the little smudge tool so you can you know smudge stuff over here you got the twirl tool, and again, you can resize your brush, so maybe twirl that over there. You got the pinch, so maybe you want, um, let's say, make this tiny, and then pinch that pretty small or something. I don't know. You can get some cool uh, warping effects. But the cool thing about this is it's completely animatable. So the distortion percentage, you can keyframe at zero, and it looks normal, and then you can go, pew. And then, you know, move to the beat or something. And um, you don't want to go past 100. But the point is, you can make some cool, like, um, the main thing for this is, like, face warping or, like, uh, I don't know, even know. But get some bulge effects over here. And then um, if you don't like it and you want to reset, there's, uh, where's the eraser thingy? I think this is it. Just erase all the warping. And you can actually see the warping with this little mesh thing. So you can erase all the warping. And then you can, you know, redo whatever you want. Um, I don't have a specific example for you right now. But I do know on Video Copilot, they have a pretty cool demon face warp tutorial. And it uses the liquify filter. Um... And it's also got, uh, I think this is the clone stamper, I don't know. But you got pinch, twirl, smudge, all those cool things. You can make some cool, you know, animate the percentage. Make it pretty sweet. But um, that's the main reason I wanted to make this tutorial and just kind of introduce you these uh, features, maybe spark your imagination, things like that. Um, anyways, now I'm done, so I will see you guys later. Peace.